welcome back to my channel. It's Tamara Keaton here. I hope you're all having a super great day. Um, today we're doing a huge vampire makeover here because we're giving vampire makeover for Candy, Dina, Miko, Mortimer, and Marcus Flegs. Those are the Sims that Andrea has turned in my 80 Mortals challenge and their vampire forms ended up looking kind of silly so I wanted to make over them so we're not like touching their everyday looks or whatever we're only giving them new and better vampire looks so when they go into dark form this is what they're gonna look like and yeah if you haven't watched my 80 mortals let's play slash challenge whatever you want to call it um uh, my founder Andrea she had to turn five vamp five sims five townies into vampires and I chose to turn these five sims because I thought it would be funny to see them as vampires or for Mortimer I just thought he would be a great vampire so that's what we did and yeah I wanted to give them a makeover and we're using a lot of CC on them because I like that and <laughs> we just made them kind of fierce looking they look so cool honestly I love that you can completely change like their their skin color and everything possible when they turn in their dark form and that's so cool so for Candy I wanted to keep the pink in some way so she has pink eyes which are like popping so they match with her hair but I gave it dark roots so she has like black hair now when she goes into her vampires because it's dark form so it's kind of evil you know because they're vampires and then she's gonna be wearing mostly black with some I think some purple heels as well or pink I don't know if that's more pink or purple her hair but it's really cool it's very I don't know it's still very candy but it's just very like mis mystery mysterious as well and very vampiric I guess that's the word that that we've learned to use in the let's play so this is the first one i'm doing and then we're doing all the other four as well the guys were a bit faster because obviously i don't know i like styling girls more and i had to give them makeup and eyelashes and nails you know and i don't have to do that with guys so they're a bit faster but they're at the end of this video so we so candy is fast and here is her outfit basically we gave her the tights from uh vampires game pack as well and these little hand thingies whatever you want to call them i've never used them i thought they matched her look so i gave her them and a cool necklace and here you go i think she looks super cool you get to see screenshots in the end but this is like one of my favorites although i do like all the girls makeovers they all look so cool but definitely like candies a lot and then next we have dina caliente here and we definitely had to get rid of that um, yellow hair. I don't like that. I actually change her everyday look a little bit as well. I don't show it here on the video, but you can see in my let's play because I was just sick of this hair and I wanted to give her some new hair. So I changed it a little. And for her, we gave her the wide eyes because they are so creepy. And I wanted her to be like a super creepy, gorgeous girl. I actually forgot to change her skin tone here to like darker or like whiter, I guess. I don't know. But I did change that in the let's play. You will see her with like pretty light gray skin I think I forgot already but we gave her this hair from vampires with the thorns and the roses and it's super cool and we gave her a matching lipstick as well so <laughs> her makeup is very dark with a red lip and it's super cool I love it and then for her outfit we give her this black top and some red shorts I think and some ripped tights and it's very cool very vampire like and she's like the sexy hot vampire in my opinion and I don't know I just love our little vampire guild in the let's play and I just wanted them to all look so cool so when they go on the little vampire at night out in the town <laughs> they can all just be in their dark form and look like a super scary group coming at you <laughs> wanting to drink all the plasma out of all the sims so yeah I wanted to use that really long like cardigan dress on some on one sim so I did end up putting that on Miko because it looks super cute on her in a way I wanted to say cute but I guess they're not supposed to be cute they're supposed to be more scary so let's just say it looks very scary okay <laughs> that's what we're gonna go with and there's a top that we gave her and these little mini shorts as well the red ones <laughs> I tried a few different things but I did end up going with those ones and whoa those jeans did not work <laughs> but yeah uh if you like this makeover don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have if you aren't following my let's play definitely go check it out i will link it in i don't know in the description and maybe even in the end screen 
I am not decided yet, but <laughs> you can find it, I'm sure. And these Sims will definitely make a big part of the Let's Play as well, because we have our little vampire guild going on right now. And they're all a part of it. And Andrea's going to train them to be like awesome vampires. So yeah. Moving on to Miko now. Well, her face is weird shaped or like her mouth is so tiny. I never knew that before. I actually want to have my next tiny makeover to be on Miko because I've been wanting to do that for ages. But this is not a tiny makeover. This is like a vampire makeover. So it's a completely different thing, okay? But when I saw her face, like without makeup and up close, I was like, damn, she has like tiny eyes and tiny mouth. So and her face is really round. So it's kind of interesting. But she looks really cool as a vampire still. We gave her this like... I don't know, like, drenched makeup look here <laughs> with blue eyes and the eyes end up matching her hair because I give her the coolest hair. It's new. It's by Simple Simmer. It's her newest hair. It's super cool. If you, if you don't know who Simple Simmer is, she makes, like, some of my favorite Maxis Match hair, so definitely go check out her Tumblr. But it's her newest hair that we put on her. I tried a few different ones, but I didn't want her to be all cute. Yeah, I wanted her to be a bit more scary as well. So we go with our hair and it's purple and, and uh, blue. So how perfect is that? It goes with her eyes and it goes with her original hair color. So it's super awesome. And she has dark lips as well to keep that kind of like gothic theme, theme, I guess. And like I said, we gave her the really long sweater dress as well with some tights from the Vampire Skin Pack, which I still love. I <laughs> Andrea wears them too because they're just, they had so so many cool new ties. I mean, I have to wear them. I mean, I have to put them like all my sims because I just want to like, use them all. But yep, these are the ones and then she's going to just wear some boots, I think. Mm, yeah, I think that's just what she gets. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. But she just has a like all black outfit with crazy hair. So that was kind of her her deal with this. And then we are going to do Mortimer next. He is going to be more of like a sophisticated vampire, okay? He's going to be like the elder one. <laughs> Even though Andrea turned him. So obviously Andrea is kind of like an older vampire. But he's an older sim. So he's going to have a beard, this awesome hair <laughs> that I thought was perfect for him and just a, like a tie and a vest and look all sophisticated and fancy so that's the look that we went with for him uh, I tried a few different things but we end up going with this vest here because it was just too perfect I really loved it I thought it was kind of funny so I wanted to use it and then we're going to be doing uh, Marcus Flex as well that's the last sim that we turned into a vampire and I don't know I kind of think we just turned him because he happened to be there when we were need in need of someone to turn but he makes a cool vampire okay we gave him a leather jacket which he already kind of was wearing but a different one some black pants black shoes and ripper teeth obviously he has black eyes pretty dark gray skin I think he just looks awesome and we got we actually don't end up going with this hair that he has right now I'll give you a, a more I don't know it's gonna say flat hair but it doesn't sound very good well you'll see but it's more or less more or less crazy okay we'll go with that <laughs> and yeah that's about the vampire makeover done I thought it was a super fun video to do I loved giving them all vampire makeovers here are the screenshots of all of the five sims that we turned I loved it and yeah I like I said if you like this video don't forget to thumb it up and tell me in the comments what you thought about them who do you think has the coolest vampire makeover who makes the best vampire out of all five of these sims or if you think Andrea just beats them all because I think she does she's the coolest <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow for another speed build I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a really great day and a really great weekend and bye bye Thank you.